Hi everyone, this is Goddess Lily and welcome back to my channel. Well today is my first lookbook post, post-op. I'm seven weeks post-op. I feel totally great. Earlier in the week I stopped by the mat counter and I picked up a few items and I asked the girl to give me some tips because I told her a lot of the comments that I was getting on my eyes and how I was feeling and how it had me feeling kind of down because a lot of people, family members and just kind of people were saying, oh I liked your eyes better. I liked your eyes better the way before, you looked better before, because I have been posting a lot of pictures but none with makeup on, so you know when you not really, you can't really wear a lot of makeup on your eyes like eyeliner and stuff, your eyes look a little sad or they don't have that definition. So I'm finally back to playing in makeup and wearing lashes and I'm going to show you all the products that I used to create this look and I'm gonna take a minute and zoom the camera up and let you see my eyes up okay close. so here are my eyes up close so as you can see they're still not that symmetrical uh, this one's still you know drooping a little bit so I still who knows you know in three months he won't access anything I have to wait three months before uh, we want to see if we want to have the TOSA surgery to lift it up a bit. I already know I want to have it, but he's going to try to talk me out of it. But anyway, um, this is the makeup close up. And a lot of people ask me, you know, am I happy with the surgery? How do I feel about the surgery? Am I, you know, glad I got the surgery? Um, the answer is super yes, still yes. I'm happy that I got it. You know, I do not at all miss, you know, the hooded eyelids resting on my eyelashes or I keep pushing it up so I could see. And, um, yeah, I'm still really happy with it. I am doing a lot of eye exercises. The, the light is blinding me. I'm doing a, a lot of eye exercises with this eye. Um, I didn't know that I didn't know how to wink, but what he has me doing is winking ten times and then holding it down on the tenth time and, I, and it's really hard when you have an eye when the muscle is not working it's really hard to do that so it took me a week to learn how to wink and then you know it's still hard holding it down but as you can see um, I can close it you know with some force I can close it but I still have this little tiny opening here so if I go to look down like this you can still kind of see the opening where it's not really closing together but if I do have the TOSA surgery that will fix all that and that will lift up the muscle and uh, hopefully even out the eyes so um, anyway I'm going to zoom the camera to my vanity where I have all my makeup spread out and take you through all the makeup I use to create this look. Okay, what I decided to do was just spread everything out on my vanity and it'll make it so much easier and it'll go so much quicker. Okay, so first I prime my face. I use BH Cosmetics Foundation Primer. Really love this. It keeps a really matte finish for me in the summertime. Now in the summer I do not wear any liquid foundations, I wear all powder foundations. So I wear MAC Studio Fix Powder Foundation. My color is NW43. Now to add a little color to my powder foundations, I do this all around the outside of my face. I use some type of bronzer and for today I chose Sun Power by MAC. It's a very pretty deep color bronzer and it's just really pretty for all skin tones. For my blush, I used the Odie by Goody Rockin' Republic and this color is called Shameless. Don't know if you can see that because of the mirror. Rockin' Republic has been discontinued maybe for about five years now but I tried to collect. They had like 15 blushes and I have about eight of them. Still on the hunt for the other ones. And to conceal, I use LA Girls Pro Concealer and my color is Toffee. 
and this is what I used under my eyes and to set the concealer under my eyes I used uh, Ben Nye's banana powder so I pretty much when I use a powder foundation I don't have to set anywhere else but under my eyes so on my eyes to start off with as a base I use a paint pot by MAC and this color is called Idealic I-D-Y-L-L-I-C so it's like a pretty burgundy color and right on top of that paint pot I went in with my Too Faced Cosmetics and I just kind of dabbled a little of the Cherry Cordial on the outer corner and then I use this very new beautiful pigment and this is from the Let's Disco collection that just came out yesterday and this color is called Let's Roll. It's very pretty. Matt came out with 10 of these little pretty sparkly pigment colors and that's this one. Very pretty you got to go check them out. I bought another color too and I'll share that with you at the end of the video. This is Red Brick by MAC. I use this in my crease and above my crease as my um, highlighter I used Texture by MAC. This is my very favorite neutral highlighter when you don't want to use any color. I don't know if you can see the sparkles in that. This is very pretty on, you know, olive dark and brown skin. And I th think I did mention Cherry Cordial from the Too Faced Chocolate Palette that I used in the outer V to just kind of give my, you know, crease a little depth. So these are the eyelashes that I use. They're by Kiss and they're number two. They're really small. They're kind of short so it gives you, it blends right in with your shorter inner eyelashes. So I love these because it looks like you're hardly wearing any eyelashes. So on my lips, to line my lips I'm using two lip pencils by MAC. The first one is the Arbonne. I use this on the outside and then I filled it in with Spice. And then I just added this really pretty limited edition, well discontinued I should say, lip lacquer by MAC and it has a, a really really weird name. I don't even know if it's focusing and if you can see that name. Anyway, um, this is probably like 10 years old. So this is what it looks like. And I might have a backup of this. You know I'm a MAC junkie and while I was flying, that's all I did was shop at MAC. And right here, these are the sponges that I use. I use this sponge to dabble on my foundation, my powder. I use the bottom of this and this kind of in the corners. And I use this to pat my um, concealer in under my eyes. And then I use this one to apply the powder to set the concealer under my eyes. So I actually have to do one eye at a time because you know if you're familiar with this LA Girl Pro Concealer you know that it dries really fast. So I go ahead and I put it on and you know it's on a type of spongy thing like this. So I go ahead and I put it on all around my eye take my bigger sponge, blend it in, and then immediately I set it with the powder and that pretty much gets all the wrinkles or you know all the lines, fine lines, it makes them totally disappear. Okay so this is it for this look. I hope you enjoyed it and thank you for watching. Mm -hmm.